माय इंडिया माइंड ऑफ इंडिया वी आर इन एन इरा ऑफ अक्यूट इकोलॉजिकल क्राइसिस वेयर वाटर इज वन ऑफ द मेजर नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज अंडर थ्रेट we are the world's largest user of ground water we use more water than china and the usa combined together till the late 70s and even the early 80s till the advent of the borewell culture india depended completely on open wells for the drinking water purpose but over time we have lost the memory of the open well and therefore we become suspicious of water thanks to the pollution that we see all around we need to revive the memory of the open well but also the cleanliness that goes with it and make sure that scientifically we ensure that the water that we drink is portable and clean my name is vishwanath i am with the rainwater club and the biome environmental trust and i am a civil engineer by profession and an urban and regional planner as part of my work i had to be designing water infrastructure schemes and to tour a lot of villages and towns all across india one of the things that i observed was that we have about 33 to 40 million wells and bore wells we use 250 cubic kilometers of uh, ground water annually and so therefore the open well became a point of curiosity because the open well is a great communicator what it does is it tells us about the availability of water it for example tells us that summer is coming so the water table starts to go low and therefore we have to start to alter our behavior to use the water very carefully similarly when it rains well the open well fills up and then provides us bountiful water it tells us that we can use a lot of water and as i studied i figured that we had an ancient culture in where wells were prevalent and were the sources of water people were aware of the fact that tanks or lakes could harvest rain water infiltrate it to the ground the earth was a very good filter and people could draw the water from these wells and use it for drinking and cooking actually people refused to move to hand pumps and bore wells they insisted that the open well water was sweet a bore well which actually goes into what's called the confined or semi confined aquifer bore wells pick up water from cracks and crevices in rocks whereas open wells pick it up from the sponge like weathered rock shallow phreatic aquifer open wells uh, tapping into the shallow aquifer are easier to recharge whereas bore wells are broadly invisible and very difficult to understand open wells have another characteristics india has a lot of fluoride and arsenic in its ground water in many places but these occur in deeper aquifers whereas the shallow open well do not generally have fluoride and arsenic and provide us good clean water provided we take care of the landscape The open wells have a protocol for management. One of them is to understand the recharge zones. Where does the rainwater go in into the earth so that it emerges in these open wells? These areas should be protected. There should not be places for dumping solid waste, garbage, oil, grease or sewage, right? They should be taken care of so that only good clean trees are planted, medicinal plants are planted so that the aquifers are polished and made clean. We have been lucky to tap into a community called the Manwadars. The Manwadars are a traditional community. This community has been digging wells in India for more than a thousand years. They still exist in Bangalore, and with their help, we are running a program called the Million Wells Program for Bangalore. The idea is that we should be able to tap into the rain that falls on the city, which is the equivalent of three thousand million liters per day. We should be able to grab a bit of this rainwater and push it into the shallow aquifer. With the help of the Bangalore Water Supply and Sewerage Board the BWSSB there's a policy in place in the city and a legislation which mandates rooftop rainwater harvesting. We have fantastic evidence from gated communities to IIM in Bangalore, Lal Bagh and Kabban Park, especially Kabban Park where the water table has come up and the seven wells provide 1 lakh liters of water and from many many homes and apartments that recharge wells and reviving the open wells provides tremendous benefits to the citizens. We assume that about 50% of the rainwater of Bangalore can be harvested through these million wells, thus providing us with about 1,500 million liters per day. This is about the volume of water that we are getting from the Kaveri, 100 kilometers away and 300 meters below the city. This water is very expensive, consumes a lot of energy, whereas it can be replaced with open well water, which would cost us very less and which would also be energy efficient. we have to get the community and individuals to participate as part of the solution if every individual in india and the world becomes water literate especially ground water literate if we reconnect with the rain and with the ground water through our open wells and if we all participate in recharging mother earth and making sure that the soil and aquifers are healthy then we will be able to overcome the problem posed by climate change 
माइंड इंडिया